last thing we got to talk about is how to put the instrument away. So here we are, fully assembled, everything's together, read mouthpiece ligature. I like to start just as we started at the bottom, putting it together. I want to start at the top and take things apart. So the very first thing that's going to come off is going to be your reed, okay? Now it can go back in the plastic case it came from. Remember to, you don't want to touch the tip, just um, use the, uh, the bottom thicker part of it, okay? It goes back in the plastic case like so. Now, I actually don't like these plastic cases very much. If you don't have anything else, it's fine. I mean, they work okay, but they tend to warp the reed and make them wear out faster. So you'll need to replace them more. Um, I much prefer these little plastic uh, cases. Um, so if you have one, if you can find one, you can order them. They're not that expensive. Your reads will last longer, so it will save you money in the long run. Okay, so anyway, either put the read away in the plastic case or in this. Fine. And next thing is we are going to take the ligature off and gently take the mouthpiece off. Remember, just like when we put it together, slow twists. All right. Now we're going to put the ligature back on without the read and put the cap on. and put the mouthpiece in the case where it goes. Usually there's a little compartment for it, but like I said before, each case is a little different. Okay, now that we are have put our mouthpiece away, and there's usually a little compartment in your case for this, we are going to gently remove the neck, and we're going to grab it from the top right here and twist with the other hand on the upper joint, twist until it comes off. Now usually, there will be some condensation that will gather right in this little trap right here. So turn it over, whatever's in there fall out, shake it out a little bit, all right? Put the neck off to the side. Now I'll explain why in a minute. Then gently twist the bridge. What we talked about before, this is the really tender part that can get a lot of keys jammed together. So gently twist, and while you're twist, pull apart, okay? Then you wanna set the upper joint down by your case. Next, we're gonna take out the floor pet peg, look at that, floor peg, all right? It's the opposite of what we did before, easy. And this goes, there's a spot for it in your, there'll be a spot for it in your case, okay? And now, last thing is we're gonna take apart the bell. Remember, if, there, if you have any kind of mechanism or any kind of pads like this on your bell, hold that closed while you gently twist off. Okay. Now, you got all the pieces put down, and this is a, a very important part. You don't want there to be a lot of water to build up in your horn after you put it away. So you're gonna dry it out with a swab. Here's an example of one that's actually kind of ripped, and I should probably get another one, but that's besides the point. All right, it still works. All right, so this is a base clarinet swab. Hopefully yours will be better looking than mine. Okay, so there will be a weighted end and there's the rag end, okay? So start with the lower joint because it's gonna have a little bit less water in there, okay? Put the weighted, in, aided, weighted end in through the top like so. Now this is important. Sometimes the rag part will be all scrunched up like this, okay? Just like on the clarinet. You don't want that. You want to open it up all the way. If it's closed, if it's all scrunched together, it could get stuck in there, like to the point where you, you have to bring it to the shop to get it out. It's not fun. All right. Feed it through there. Usually like to do each part twice. All right. Same thing. And now we are ready to put the lower joint away. There it goes. And there will be a spot. It will be obvious in your case where it fits. My case is a little different, so, you know, don't pay too much attention to my case. All right, now I'll take the upper joint where there's gonna be most of your water, all right? Same thing, feed it through, make sure it's open. Don't want any gunk to build up in there. Now, while I'm doing this, I should talk about uh, hygiene while you're playing the clarinet. Um, so, because you have to blow into it, uh, you don't want 
residue from food and gunk and other stuff to build up inside the horn, inside the mouthpiece. Um, you don't want to attract ants. Um, I've seen it happen before. It is not, it's not pleasant. Uh, so I would recommend not eating or drinking right before you play. If you can, the best thing to do would be to brush your teeth before you play. If you can't, let's say you have band right after lunch, whatever the situation is, um, at the very least, you should rinse out your mouth with water. Just swish it around and just have some water before you play. So you're not going into, like, you're not blowing sugar and gunk and all sorts of other crud into your horn. Uh, because that will make it smell, it will mess up the mechanisms, it will get the pads all sticky, and it could attract ants and bugs and other things that you don't want to attract. All right, so that being said, we've got our lower uh, joint, or our upper joint swabbed out. We put this away. I like to take one swab through the bell, swab it out if you can. Now, since this isn't wood, it's not as important, but I like to do it anyway, just to get all the water out. Now I'm gonna put the bell away. Lastly, I'm going to take the neck. Uh, you do not have to swab out the mouthpiece, by the way. You don't have to do that. Um, if you want to clean it once in a while with soap and water, that's fine. But you really don't have to swab that out. It actually can ruin the uh, finish on the mouthpiece, and it can actually alter the way that you play. So uh, just be careful of that. And we're going to swab the neck out. See, once again, I didn't follow my own advice. I got the rag all bunched up and now it's not fitting in there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put the neck away. Should be pretty obvious how it fits into your case. And we're gonna put the swab away. We're gonna put our cork grease away from earlier. Anything else you need to put away, put it away. And make sure the case is, has been on the floor the whole time, hopefully. And we close the case. And that's our first base clarinet lesson. I hope you had fun today. And see you next time.